Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be taking a look at Sins of a Solar Empire, and uh, we have a nice mod here called Maelstrom. Uh, as you can probably hear, the music is a little bit different from the stock game. Quite interesting. Uh, we also have over there... Um, I did notice this immediately. This planet is different from any of the stock planets that I can remember. So that's something to be aware of. And in addition to that, I can see one just over there in the middle distance. Okay, so what does Maelstrom offer you? Um, I think we're probably going to go for a... Oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, medium map. 36 stars is quite enough, I think. Let's take a look and see who we can be. Now, we can be the tech, which are from stock, as you know. Advent Loyalist, Advent Rebel, uh, again, Stock Race, and the Vasari. Once again, Stock Races, so nothing overly surprising here except for the music and the planets. But here we are, we have uh, a pirate race. The pirate loyalists are notorious for their use of unyielding force and merciless tactics, in combat or otherwise. So this is quite interesting. Uh, criminals and slaves the pirate rebels are. Um, looks like they've got uh, Euphoria, Revenge, Insurgency, Savage Intent... Ooh, quite interesting. And they've got the Illustria or the Dauntless. Not sure which of these uh, I would want to be yet, but let's just take a look at the other races, always wise to do. Uh, we also have the, the Norlamin Loyalists and Rebels. Um, once again, I'm not sure what kind of races these guys are. Um, this is all very, very new to me, but we can see that they've got some nice uh, ships here. Atlas Battleships, uh, Jelmy. I don't recognise those ships from any other IP, but let me know if you do. Um, then we have the Alliance, which they've got an interesting uh, interesting grouping of ships. They look like they might actually be unique, and um, we'll have a look at those in a future episode. And lastly, the Replicators, which certainly look interesting. They're almost a robotic race, are they? Countless worlds in distant space, slowly beginning in a distant galaxy. The Empire expanded uniformly, bringing hundreds of alien races under its control. In an attempt to establish their empire, the Replicators are expanding their local interest and expand their defensive capabilities. Loyalists are able to build a Hilaria Titan, a battleship with many unique abilities. Ooh, very nice. But we want to be the pirates for this one, I believe. So let's go back. I'm not sure which one I want to be. I genuinely don't know. Uh, this guy's got a chin of doom, so I think we're going to be the Pirate Rebels. Why not? Let's see what it says about them. The Pirate Rebels are mostly composed of criminals and slaves. Despite this, they obey their superiors surprisingly well. They're, surpri they're surprising obe surprisingly obedient to the upper castes within the Pirate military. Rumour has it that the disobedient militia members often find themselves as dinner for the regular army troopers. Ugh. Affiliations with uh, militia and mercenaries and rogue forces gives them a powerful advantage as they build their galactic empire. So these guys are basically traders and these guys are more kind of uh, piracy focused. We're gonna go piracy focused now. In order to give us something to see, we'll go against some Norlamin loyalists, some alliance rebels, and... Ah, replicated loyalists, there we go. That's... The Out of Bounds there irritates me a little bit, but that's the way of life, I suppose, isn't it? Okay, so I think that's the way we're going to go. We're just going to go against normals, I think. Uh, let's see if we can change our flag to something that suits my purposes a little bit better. I am, of course, a pirate, so something spiky and nasty looking would be ideal. I I'm hope... not just any Cardassian. Judocast, thank you very much for following the stream. That's very kind of you indeed. Uh, let's choose that particular flag, and we are already the correct colour. Let's rock and roll. Are you ready to be a pirate? Yar! We're all ready. So, oddly, in the years that I've run a YouTube channel, I've never covered this mod. Uh, I've covered a lot of Sins of a Solar Empire, uh, specifically Rebellion mods, but never Maelstrom, very, very surprisingly. Wow, what is this? It's, it's stonking. The Medusa Coordinator. So what can you do? Uh, dread... Oh, it's got Dreadnoughts. That's interesting. Uh, right, let's take a look here. This looks Hygaran. I think everything that we've got looks surprisingly Hygaran. <laughs> oh, indeed. Right, so those are scouts. Uh, what have we got here? We have got construction Yo, frigates. I'm not just any kind of <laughs> I love the voices. They're just, they do genuinely sound like pirates. To mod, thank you very much for following the stream. 
Uh, and a bottle of rum. <laughs> and here we have the frigate factories. Yes, yeah, so a lot of these. Oh, a colony of new planets is there for the taking. <laughs> a lot of these do very much sound like they are. Um, not sound, excuse me, look like they're Hygarian vessels from Homeworld, so it's interesting oh, to note. What have we got? Ram Attack, Raiding Party, Sabotage Party, Trickster. Okay, the Black Swan is the colonizing frigate, so we'll have some of those. We've got the Buccaneer Frigate and the Morningstar Colonizer, and of course the Trident, which is the Scout. Let's take a few Buccaneers. Have we got any, um... No, alright, we haven't researched any of our, uh, Battleships or cruisers, etc. Yet, wow, there's quite a lot of pieces of research here. That's nice. That's something I always appreciate in mods. So let's take. Shush. <laughs> Technologies platform. I'm going to assume that they are. <laughs> I do like the voices. Here we go. So we've got a buccaneer frigate here. Ahoy there, Captain. Yeah. From what I can tell, this e. I think these are taken from Homeworld 2 primarily. Correct me if I'm wrong, uh, uh, please do get in the chat and let me know. Uh, that's very, very important to me to know. <laughs> Fingers crossed the um, the chat is going to work correctly. Oh, How long have we got? Oh, look! Oh, look, it's the Hygarian, um it's the mothership. Now we turn the tide. Alright. I'm happy to turn the tide as long as you just, uh, as long as you settle down. Kind of fighters or bombers. We'll take fighters early on. Let's grab these guys, put them in a fleet. <laughs> and we are going to go to this dwarf planet over here. Very good, very good indeed. Alright, let's just very quickly tab out to make sure that my chat is functioning as it should. Yes, it is. Oh, Judocast, how are you doing? You meaning to catch the stream and follow? Glad I finally caught it. Uh, glad to get a. Uh, to see a mod I haven't touched. Yeah, it's, it's always exciting to try a mod out that you haven't touched before, so I, I've been looking forward to this. Uh, let's grab a little bit more logistical capacity because I need another civilian platform. Right, let's take a look at Conquest and see what we can do with it. When the last enemy ship in your planet's gravity well leaves or is destroyed, the planet's culture and population growth are increased. Not necessary at the moment. Kidnappers re Kidnapped researchers, yes. So, uh, could probably do a little bit of a spell check on the go there. Um, but uh, I'm sure that's something we'll deal with later. Oh, God, the, the ships are fighting! Shoot them! Um. Looks like a lot of the uh, effects are stock effects. From what I can see. What are you all doing? Why aren't you auto-attacking, you cretins? Yeah, they do very much sound like stock effects. <laughs> Things are wonderful in merry old England. Probably. I do use the term wonderful loosely, of course. Excellent. There we go. Let's take the crystal extractor as well. And we're done here in this system. That was uh, nice and easy. Let's go to Evangelis, shall we? Right. Now we do need volcanic colonization for the next segment, so we're going to have to wait a little bit for some resources unless we sell a bit of that, buy a bit of that, and let's... There we go. It looks like our frigates aren't very good. A lot of enemy ships there, we'll give that a minute. I wonder why the uh, the pirate uh, sigil is upside down on this ship. I, that's probably an oversight by the developer, because that's that's an addition. That isn't uh, part of the original model, I don't think. Uh, they've either all been retextured or they've just had the textures touched up. I'm not sure which. Right, we've got both the orbital model modules that we wanted. Uh, that's nice. What does this do? Modular architecture. That only improves the Titan Foundry. Oh! Uh, common structural features are incorporated into revised designs of structures and ships. Well, let's buy one of those anyway. I appreciate the fact that they've got unique pictures here. A lot of this is very, very stock. Um, 
I think this is stock, this, uh, this entire surround here. But uh, at least these images, these are all unique to the race, I believe. Yep, certainly looks that way. There's a lot of ahoying going on. Hi, hi. Let's see. Wow, what the heck is this? Ho. Oh. That's pretty funky monkey. I'm going to have to take me that. High tech exploitation required to colonize. That is awesome. It looks, it's almost like a sphere world or a, or a, um, what are they? Almost a halo, but it's got some kind of energy field in the middle, which I presume allows it to, yeah. It's like an internal sun. Very cool. Uh, anything else we've got here? An extinct planet. Let's go and take a look at that. Uh, yeah, it's almost like a planet that's blown itself up. Tomod, how you doing? What else we got? Neoluna, that's fairly standard. I think that's actually a, a standard visual planet as well. Ooh, I forgot people fighting. That was uh, sudden and brutal. Let's follow our buccaneer in. What kind of ability do you have which you keep doing? Sabotage, I see. Oh, it disables weapons. These buccaneers are absolute bastards. Come on, missiles. There we are. Victory is forever. Oof. I'm starting to feel like these guys are quite violent. <laughs> can't imagine why they'd want to be uh, want to be violent, can't they? Can't we all just get along? Right. Euphoria doesn't seem like it's necessary for us. Orbital commerce would probably be quite useful, so let's grab that. One thing I do note about a lot of these um, additional researchers, is, if you like, is yeah, mm, it's a bit, uh, because they're grey all the time and there isn't a great deal of difference, you just get a slight highlight to them, you're not really aware when they're available because all of these over here, they're also greyed out. Um, so I think perhaps adding a little bit of colour to the uh, potential researchers might be useful. <laughs> har 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 means I don't have enough money, apparently. Let's go again. <laughs> I, can, I can tell you quite happily that that is not my usual reaction when I don't have enough money. Let's go to Moraes. I'm a little bit concerned that we're probably going to need some more ships, so if we just grab a, like, five more buccaneers. Looks like there are... Whoa! Look at this! Look at all the planetoids in there! Oh, I can't wait to get in there and have a look. It's got these uh, little moons going round and round. That's really, really nice. I like that. King Bowden, welcome to the stream. I can see you in there. I know you haven't commented yet, but it just it told me. Right. I think the next thing that we could really benefit from here is grabbing some orbital commerce, if I can find it. Orbital commerce? 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 Yes, there they are. 123, 124, and there. Am I going to be able to build anything here? I will be able to, ultimately. Looks like resources are slow. Very, very slow for these guys. Are you, actually... are you getting hiccups, guys? That's not good. I can see that there are some dropped frames, which is a bit of a concern. If that continues, let me know, guys. Looks okay at the moment. Yeah, I can see that there were a few drop frames there. I'm not sure why that happened. Because I'm not really streaming in high quality. It is a Monday night, though, and my internet is notoriously bad on a Monday night. Ahoy. Quite concerning. Ahoy. Yeah, my CPU's not whinging. My GPU's fine. So it's probably my net, if that is the case. I'll keep an eye on this. I will keep an eye on this, guys. Yeah, 
We're getting more, uh, more dropped frames. Quite concerning. Always the way on a Monday, isn't it? You think everything's going to plan. In fact, it's been a very, very useful day, and uh, now it's having a whinge. Let's just hope it's a temporary blip. There we go. Enemy weapons are disabled. Ahoy there, Captain! Well, if those frame drops continue, guys... Ahoy. <laughs> when do things ever go to plan? You're not wrong. If those frame drops do continue, uh, carry on letting me know. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to just lower the quality a smidgen in order to make sure it runs a little bit more smoothly. Uh, let's just upgrade this fine fellow. Got a raiding party, uh, and... Hmm. That sounds quite useful, the planet berserker. They do keep happening. Okay, well, I'm just going to tab out for a moment, and fingers crossed, I'll be able to edit this a little bit. There we go. I've just edited that a smidge. Um, move the amount of uh, the frames down a little bit. So, fingers crossed, uh, the quality might suffer a bit, but if we're fortunate, we won't get as many frame drops. It's very, very odd. Didn't you? It's it's a funny old thing, isn't it? You'll have days where you don't get any frame drops whatsoever. Um, when you're playing a really complex game that's uh, that should incur fl fr flame, yes, flame drops, um, that should incur frame drops. Uh, Victory! I really do think you should try it. Uh, oh, I think we're. If you What's a Punisher dreadnought? And why? What? Hello. Where did you come from? I mean, I'm okay with it, but. Do we really want a ram? Yes. Yes, we want a ram. All right, we have a dreadnought. My destination is absolute. Ooh. Looks like an interesting uh, scout ship of some form here. I'm going to have to go after them. But yes, once this comes out as a VOD, I will have the uh, the description in there. So it looks like every now and then you get a dreadnought. One. Ah, oh, so these dreadnoughts are actually capital ships to all intents and purposes. So I think perhaps it's going to be within our best interests to grab one of those. In fact, we'll... oh, it's bloody land labbers. Let's grab those, just so when the cooldown does expire, we can grab it. Alright, right, has my dreadnought arrived here? Bloody, they're massive Punisher class dreadnought. It's a mod called Maelstrom. My destination is absolute. And it's for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. I think uh, the latest version, there are quite regular versions that have been released, uh, was released on somewhere around the 10th of April this year. Can't wait to see this thing in action. Efficient strategy. I think it's going to be a beast. And it can ram. <laughs> Absolutely does look like. Hey, Winter, how you doing, buddy? Ahoy there. Our research has progressed. Ahoy there. It's got very small engines for the bulk of the ship, doesn't it? Got these two diddy little things. Look sharp, yes, space rod! Oh, here he comes. You're not getting as much hiccuping now, I'm really pleased to hear that. 
I'm still trying to keep an eye on it. I've got a little screen to my left that shows me whether I've got dropped frames or not, so uh, that's something that I'm making an effort to keep an eye on. What do these small asteroids do? And do they come towards our ships? What? It looks like they're just an environmental... Um... Whoa! That was a cool weapon. And look at the number of missiles! I'm liking the dreadnoughts, ladies and gentlemen. I am liking the dreadnoughts. We do need another one of these. I'm, I'm just going to let this battle happen. I'm good, Winter. I'm good. Enjoying a nice new mod, so... Well, by new, I mean this, this mod has been around since, I think... Either the original Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion or... Um, or uh, at least entrenchment. Can I? Yes, I can take a neo lunar planet. Yeah, these these ships are very very good. Um, plunder plundering is good. Pyrrha has been acquired. Let's just improve this planet immeasurably. What does this do? Fusion power. Harvested fusion fuel helps boost the speed and weapons of friendly ships. Nice, cool. I do love this star system. What they've uh, what they've actually done is they've created a beautiful little asteroid field, and they've also put these three moons that go around the planet. Um, yeah, really cool. Uh, I very much appreciate that. And then we've got these asteroids as well. I don't really know what the asteroids do. Whether they've got an ability that allows them to smash into ships. Doesn't look that way, does it? I think they're just there as set dressing. Right, uh, let's get ourselves another trade port here. I think we needed one over here as well, didn't we? There's a trade port. You're as upgraded as you can get. Do you have a trade port? If not, damn it, why not? And last but not least, you've got one, haven't you? Yes, you have. How about you? Does our central planet have a trade? It doesn't. Sell a little bit of that. Pop a little bit of that. The cooldown is very, very long on dreadnoughts. strategy. What's next? Don't really want to try and take out these guys. So, I think perhaps we'll... Hmm. I'll give That's the, the way to go. Yeah, I wondered if they had a ramming ability, but it, it certainly doesn't look like they have it. We've got some... Wow, everybody hates us. Look at that. We are not well liked. Uh, what's this? The Skylark. Is that a scout, do you reckon? Yeah, it's got next to no weapons. Very interesting ship. Let me know, guys, if you recognise any of these vessels from a different IP. I think that would be quite interesting for us to know. Right, from here, we're going to need more research. Um, I think that's going to be our focus for a little while. We're going to need some military research, aren't we? So let's go... We'll have one of each here. Oh, let's roll down here. Realise that we haven't got any money, again. Grab some logistics. And then wait for a bit. So far, you, yes, yeah, the high gear, and yeah, that's all I've seen so far as well. It'd be nice if they had Tidan as well. I, I'm a big fan of Tidan vessels. I, I always found them sleeker and more pleasant to look at, if you will, um, than the high gear ones. I suppose we could actually build another cap ship, couldn't we? Let's see what our opportunities are. Um, we've got the Jolly Roger. 
uh, a power battleship that specializes in hard hitting. Tarantula packs a solid punch and disrupts enemy ships. The Black Pearl, unique battleship with abilities to cripple enemy craft. We've already got a Black Swan, the Dark Fortune, and the Inferno. I think we'll probably take a Jolly Roger. Oh, look. Whoa. That is a fascinating looking ship. Everybody, kill it. Skylark. I, yeah, I definitely don't recognize this IP, but it looks like these guys focus on lasers primarily. And they look really good, though. Like the uh, the points that they're firing from, I really like that. I really like this planet in the background as well, but we'll, we'll come back to that. Oh, it died without any help. Oh. I do not know what these asteroids do. Is it going to cause any damage? Just... Oh, it did something. It disabled our ability, so they do have some kind of abilities on them. <laughs> the capture names are pretty cool, I agree with you there. This guy's doing a number on people now. He, he's pissed off. He's not liking this. Everybody die. Pain is temporary. Um, is let's give you an additional planet berserker. You can have another fighter and also a bit of plundering. Because plundering, I think, might well be good for us. We have lost a great deal of... Oh, no, we haven't. We haven't really lost many frigates at all. I, I thought we had. I was mistaken. Let's just take a look around. Nothing happening in the middle distance. Peace is the greatest lie of all. Come yeah, on. Kill the asteroid. We'll have to have a look at the files of the asteroids and just see what they do. I could potentially board them, couldn't I? Do I have any boarding craft? Pain is I think this guy's got a boarding Victory ability. Raiding party. Forever. Okay, so we might try that boarding party a little bit later on. We need Arctic exploration for this planet, so let's very quickly get that. Um, we should probably take better blackmailed researchers as well. Go for the researchers first. A little bit more modular architecture, and then that. And we'll just we'll, ju we'll just chill here for a little bit. Got plenty of resources after that little run, so we'll take that Jolly Roger that we were planning on. Oh, yeah. How quickly do these things repair? Quite quickly. Okay, good. Fighters have found a pathfinder. pathfinder. That looks like a heavily edited uh, Vasari ship. It's gone, though. Yeah, this is an attractive planet again. Nothing really fascinating about it. It's just called a Tempest planet. Uh, so I, I don't know what it does at this point. Oh, hello. Nice little railgun style weapons on that. Efficient strategy. Did you just ram? No, you didn't. <laughs> Gaze upon us in awe. The Jolly Roger is complete. Let's go and take a look at it. Ah, oh, yes, this was one of my favourite Igaran ships. I love this. This always reminded me, um, if you guys, and you may or may not, I don't know, uh, did you guys ever play Wing Commander Prophecy? Oh, no, I didn't want that. Oh, well, I've got it now. Who would stand against us? 
Got some blues there. That's just a Pathfinder. Nothing Raw serious. Power. Raw power. Ahoy there. Our research has progressed. Take that first. Grab this. Wow, you can make things extremely cheap. I think that's the uh, that's the key with these guys is to just make everything dirt cheap. You did judo, excellent. Well, um, this Jolly Roger here it reminds me a little bit of the midway. Um, you see the the lowering section here. If you split that segment out, uh, you'd have the two midway main hulls, and then you'd have that little back section here with the engine bay. So that's why it reminds me of it. Doesn't look like it from the bottom, but from the top, it's just got that uh, that same kind of bulbous segment here around the kind of the bridge architecture. <laughs> Tao says, uh, "I love this mod, but Caesar doesn't want to play it with me." Oh, that's not good. Why doesn't he want to play that? What's this? That's oh, a trade ship. Okay. Not massively great textures on the trade ship, but they're not very important. Right, can we now take this planet, please? Excuse me. Hi, Garen Capship, what are you playing at? <laughs> we can get improved culture. I don't see that as necessary at this point. Nobody's encroaching upon us with culture, so... We'll take a little bit more of that. Well, yeah, we'll just... Landlubber. More crystal is required. Landlubber. If you insist. We've taken this world. Let's strategy. move onwards. Where to? This My way. Destination is absolute. What's this trident? Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Shiver your timbers indeed. Uh, one thing that I don't necessarily like, and now Correct me if I'm wrong, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like a lot of the placement of these things is different from stock. Uh, for example, the metal and crystal extractor are horizontal to each other. You, from what I remember, they're usually vertical. And then when it comes to the labs, uh, we've got the combat center and the technologies platform here, which are the military and civilian labs. They, traditionally speaking, they'd be here and here, from what I remember, like uh, one above the other. If I'm wrong, that's okay. Are the mods unbalanced, is it? Um, who would you say are the best race from a, a victory perspective? An industrial planet. Doesn't look very industrial, does it? We've got some interesting vessels here. Oh, they're just asteroids. Not to worry. Do seem to be heavily damaged? Ah, we found our enemies. That's just a Pathfinder again. Jolly Roger, I'm going to need you to get there. Ahoy there, Captain! Okay. Let's bomb this world into dust. Yes, yeah, a victory perspective. Like, who would I, um choose as a race if I wanted to pummel the crap out of Caesar, for example. And of course, who would I encourage him to choose really like the particle effects on these uh, weapons? Ah, that's nice. <laughs> I feel like it's a brummy telling me things in the background. The uh, the announcer sounds like a brummy. Ahoy there. Our research is Ahoy there. Pathfinder and another Pathfinder. Nothing to be concerned about. Let's get additional ships. We've ignored that horribly. Very disappointed with myself, ladies and gentlemen. Very disappointed with myself. That is now my now my world. Let's go back to conquest. Uh, we will grab that culture center because it looks like they are making use of them, and we don't like that. Just need a little bit more crystal. Is it called crystal in this? Yes. <laughs> If 
probably go with um, replicators. Uh, they can get tons of free ships and they have a really strong defense cannon. Interesting. Um, pirates can double their fleet supply. Watch out for that. Ahoy there, Captain. Finally, the Jolly Roger has arrived and me finally be a useful member of our society but maybe not oh that's another pathfinder the ah here we go we found some enemies we found the trade alliance over here uh we, well we were just fighting somebody uh and the bergian consortium who's the bergian consortium they're the replicators um the guys who i'm fighting now they're the normalins are they normally and then we've got the traders <laughs> You were going to choose Replicators, just cause to associate the name with Stargate. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, the Replicators strategy. were very, very cool. Oh, look, we've got a little frigate here. Hello, sir. Hopefully my fighters won't be able to catch you. I'm not feeling too hopeful about that. Let's just... Uh... Oh, yeah, we got him. Those dreadnoughts are vast. They really are large. Right, we've got a couple of extra worlds now. Let's make use of them. Let me show you their features. Uh, let's take some combat centers. A combat center. Mm. <laughs> uh, we should probably take an orbital culture center here. Uh, one more sieve. There we go. That's nice. And over here... Should we take a culture center here? I don't think we will. So we'll go combat center. There we go. That'll do for the moment. Uh, speaking of replicators, um, what's this trident? Oh, I think that's a trade ship. Uh, speaking of replicators, or oh, in this case more so Azurans, uh, I've now been given the go ahead that I can continue doing my mod spotlight on the on the um, SGI mod, which I'm... Re oh, that's their planet. Oh, well, let's kill them all. Yeah, so uh, hopefully I'll be doing an Azurean Spotlight within the next couple of weeks. I don't want to give you a specific date, because uh, I do have a pretty jam-packed schedule over the next week or two. Um, and that's going to be really interesting. It's still very much a work in process. Um, Dot was telling me, he sent me an email. Um, so he doesn't want us as the viewers and indeed as um, as the player to consider it as a finished product. But I really look forward to taking a look at what they've done with the Azurans. He says, in particular, some of the textures aren't quite finished yet. But he does look forward to being able to do so. Just got some crappy little frigates here. What's this? Oh, that's their coordinator. That's okay. Now yeah, the normal ends have got a very interesting technology. Or have very interesting technology, I should say. They're certainly not winning this fight. Who would stand against us? Why are you moving directly away from the thing that you're trying to kill? Indestructible. Overwhelming force. There we go. Guns. Guns and bullets. Twitch still has the Battlegrounds title. It certainly shouldn't. Let's just tab out and have a look at that, shall we? It says to me, Sins of a Solar Empire Mod Spotlight Maelstrom. Do you want to press F5 to refresh? And let me know. If that is indeed the case. It's, it tells me the right title, but whether that's accurate or not is... What is within us? Not on your screen. Ah, okay. Uh, the SGI mod is not fully available yet. Uh, uh, it is in a beta stage, if you will. Um, there are certain elements of it that are available. You can uh, you can get onto a beta testers uh, group as long as you're willing to provide a bit of feedback. I mean, there's no point being a beta tester unless you're providing feedback or propagating the mod, in which uh, which is more what I'm doing. I must admit. 
I think it might be within my best interests here to actually go after those frigate factories because they're going to continue just pumping out irritating things. Where are all their cap ships? I wouldn't imagine the asteroids have FTL. I could be wrong. Don't go inside there! It's building a ship! He's going in to ram something. Is he trying to ram this? I think he did! Can we just plunder anything we want? Plunder! He has leveled though. Let's have a bit of a berserker. We're definitely winning now. Yes, it's more than likely that they did die to neutrals. Oh, you poor little thing. And goodbye. Like the green explosions. My thoughts exactly. Right, this coordinator is going to take a little while to go down. This is what builds the dreadnoughts, I believe. It's um, a rather risky way to treat a mothership, isn't it? Well, you've got a squadron. Point. Um. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll upgrade you, go for the raiding party, and then we'll go for that sabotage party. Uh, that uses what we call an if statement. Pain is temporary. Victory is forever. I'm at the enemy, one of the enemy homeworlds, yeah. As I say, this is just intended to be a short spotlight, really. Um... I don't, I don't even know how long the stream's been going on so far. Would you mind uh, letting me know, guys, how long has the stream been so far? Oops, super duper quick tab. There we go, back in. Oh! What's being attacked? A no. <laughs> <laughs> well, we wanted to know where their cap ship was, didn't we? We have our answer. <laughs> oh dear. Let's just uh, grab a few more buccaneers as well. There we go. That should uh, that should keep them busy. Inevitable. Yeah, I think I'll likely go probably for about another hour in time. Let's do a little bit more berserking. We can have a sabotage party here and we upgrade that raiding party. Lovely. Peace. Better colonising? Why not? Let's show him my ugly side. There we go. It's, it never that ship has decided that it doesn't like it up it. Again, I think this may well be unique right. IP. I haven't seen a design like this before. Somebody's getting arrested side. outside. That's nice. Let's take a look at these guys. We've got the Crescent Moon warship here, which has got these little um, burning pirate things. <laughs> so it looks interesting. Uh, ooh, what else have we got? I think that's also a Crescent Moon. That's a Buccaneer. Do we have any uh, other types? Buccaneer, 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 Crescent Moon. Avengers. Again, look quite interesting. They're like, um, well, they, they look like a certain adult toy from my perspective. But there we are. Uh, they're almost certainly ribbed for your pleasure. <laughs> I 
Are we taking down this world? Yes, we are. Slowly, but surely. The enemy of the world will fall. Alright, let's see what else we can grab in the meantime. Long range frigates, carrier cruiser, one of these. Bit of dat, one of those, some of them. Well, that's beautiful research. Seems I got a lot of uh, cash while I wasn't looking. Which I'm quite pleased about. <laughs> here, make sure that things are proceeding as we have foreseen. Ahoy there, Captain. Definitely takes a while to take down these uh, these kind of vessels. But we are... Is that a dreadnought in the process of being built? That's interesting. Well... Because we know the Dreadnoughts are very good, let's grab one of those and grab a bit of that. Are you running? What's uh, what's the synopsis of, uh, of the goings-on? Let's take a Vanguard, and we'll take a couple of these as well. Uh, we can sell some of that, buy a bit of that. One of them, one of them. And a Reaver. Reavers certainly sound fun. Assault many orbital structures at once from extreme range. Uh, deploy planetary siege engines. Uh, these might not be accurate. There you go, it's run. That's fine, I don't mind them running as long as they're not causing me trouble. Their planet is nearly down. Oh dear, thunderstorm, that's concerning. Very nearly finished. War reveals what is within us. Ahoy, an enemy's capital has been destroyed. Look lively, our forces are engaging the enemy. There we go. Right, there we go, we've taken their world. Now we're cooking. But the enemies are now attacking a different planet because they're sausages. But we have some more different ships. Oh, they're Buccaneers again. This guy's new, this Scorpion Cruiser. What's this? Crystalline Mine Squadron. Oh, we haven't researched it. That's a shame. Well, hopefully we'll get some more ships. That Scorpion looks pretty damn cool. Oh, look at that. It's definitely a carrier. Handsomely, handsomely. Cruiser pairing up The bigger they are. Look at these little Medusa corvettes as well that we should look at. With massive guns on them. Right, have you stopped bombarding my world? Yes. You've realised that the times are bad. Research has progressed. Power without bounds. We've now improved our research. Let's grab a orbital culture center and a trade port here. Give me the coordinates. Now we're cooking. Baby, don't fail me now. Looks like we've got a Reaver as well. We will not pity the defenseless. Which looks awesome. Ahoy, the construction of and what do you do? You do ram attacks and you do plunder. And a that is our path. Vanguard. Ahoy there. I'm willing to say, ladies and gentlemen, that the Vanguard is my favourite ship so far. Without hesitation. Let's just zoom back in and take another look at it. Yeah, that's cool. That's very cool. 
what can you do? You do some hull repairing, you're a siege platform, and you do ram attacks. Ram attacks seem to be a staple of the pirates. It is magnificent, you're quite right. The planet's economy is strong, and employment levels are high, the stock market share prices are on the rise. By virtue of the fact that it's just been bombed into oblivion, everything has to be on the rise. By virtue of its very existence. Ahoy there, Captain! Well, destroy what you can. Ahoy. Planetary development complete. Shivering timbers. Our reinforcements have arrived. Ahoy there, Captain! Give me some sweat there, you swabs. Corvette pairing up jump drive. We've got a Nautilus as well. Let's take a look at this one. I don't like the Nautilus. It looks silly. Ahoy there. Our research has progressed. Would I be correct, ladies and gentlemen, in thinking that these aren't High Garen vessels, some of them? As, I mean, this one looks like a Tidan vessel. Let me know, guys. Is this Tidan? I feel like the Vanguard might be tied down as well, which it might be the reason I like it. Deep hole there. Cruise and phase drive activated. Things are blowing up there. Planets are blowing up here. Ahoy. The construction of Orcus and Mulder is complete. The Arises. Another planet has been taken. Another planet has been taken. Either Irish or, or Brummie. Just... <laughs> they're very different things, but depending on what they're saying. Right, let's. I can't build anything at the moment. That will change. You can kill this any time today. It looks like damage is really reliant on cap ships. Super reliant on cap ships. Efficient strategy. You're a pathfinder again, nothing to My concern ourselves about. Absolute. Ahoy, the construction of Orcus and Mulder is complete. What's happening over here? Ahoy, planetary yeah, development complete. A bit of asteroid spam. Let's kill those. Yeah, they definitely do fire back. Got a few different weapon types now, that's cool. something too many times <laughs> very true according to my teenage self <laughs> right let's see if we can get any artifacts to see what they uh, look like oh now we're cooking how quickly is this planet gonna fall quite quickly unless I do something about it any defences that I might be able to build? Defence platform, why not? Ooh. Oh, that's scouts which have just decided that they don't want to anymore. Pain is temporary. Victory I'm not is just forever. any Cardassian. Skynet Gaming Program, thank you very much for following the channel. Uh, hail our new overlords. I, for one, welcome our new overlords. Ahoy. 
planetary development complete. Hmm. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Our research has progressed. How long? Too long. Uh, let's grab ourselves a Jolly Roger. Ah, more research as well. One of those, one of those. Let's grab some Dark Fortune. Some money. An Inferno. And a couple of cruises. Sugar. We're going to lose our homeworld. We are going to lose our homeworld. I did not notice the naughty men coming and attacking us. So busy focusing here. Hey there, our research has progressed. I'm going to have to ask everybody to uh, shoot this better. Main ships aren't going to get back in time. Uh, this thing is nearly dead, so I can reverse this little fleet. This is gonna be bumpy. This is gonna be bumpy. Give no ground. Right, let's get uh, one of those. Uh, some bombers. Just as many ships as we possibly can. Luckily, the Dreadnought has decided that it doesn't uh, care about bombing the planet if there are ships to kill. So our fleet's going to get back in time. Got any bright ideas? Efficient strategy. Let's bring our other fleet back as well. Let's bring it back to yeah this system. They picked the wrong fight. They're not that tough, these dreadnoughts. I don't know why I was so worried. Are, the harder I hit them. Shivering timbers. Our reinforcements have arrived. You look forward to me rebuilding Cardassia. I'm really pleased about that. Do you know, I made that um, that video quite some time ago, and I, I never released it because um, I wasn't sure. I, I wasn't 100% sure if I actually liked it. Um, Having taken the opportunity to think about it, I really wanted to do it, and I just started recording the series anyway. So I thought, well, why not? They will no regret. My work is not done. Let's get some insurgency forces on the go. I think she's running. Given, given the number of ships that we have here. Sharp. Their death will only feed our rage. Yeah, so we've got the Dark Fortune class, which is definitely a high gear and carrier type. And then we've got the Inferno class. That is tied down, I think. That might be the Tidan version of the mothership. Hmm. Ahoy, the construction of Orcus and Vulture is complete. You haven't got long left, so let's uh, grab another one of those because it can never have hurt to have another dreadnought. We go. Our ships are getting back now. We are going to go for these guys next. The consortium. Off you go. Don't know what the cooldown is. The cooldown is 3,000, and I think we're probably about 2,800. Yes. <laughs> Cyberpunk. Ahoy there. Our research has progressed. Right, let's see what other research we can do. Not a lot, actually. We've uh, we've neglected to do anything useful for a while. 
So let's uh, let's rectify that because we're probably losing a great deal of resources. Yeah, we've got two planets, uh, Hapke and uh, Clusius, that are losing us money, and we don't like that. Nobody likes losing money, but uh, more so me. Uh, let's grab a trade port. And are we in? Oops. Are we in a position? No. There we go. That's upgraded as far as it'll go. That's fine. What kind of buildings does it have? Whatever we need, that's fine. This planet is nice and upgraded. Should have a trade port already. It does. How about you? You've got one as well. I don't think I'll be able to upgrade you either. And you. You are the one that is causing me difficulties. You wanted a trade port? Well, when I say you wanted a trade port, I meant you're having a trade port. Right. Our instincts are razor sharp. Everybody, you're in a single fleet. Let's get you over to here. Without hesitation. Who are you? What are you doing? All right then, take your time. Ahoy, the construction of Orbis and Module is complete. I've got a fairly extensive fleet now, I didn't even realise. <laughs> Come on, give me another dread, you tossbag. And that's what I wanted to do, which, once again, I just like zoomed around all the planets and didn't do, is I needed more research centres. So let's go for a combat centre. Let's sell a bit of metal. And go for two combat centers. That brings us doot doot, and then we're going to need another two. So there's all the combat centers we need for everything. So uh, let's take. Can we not take the heavy cruiser design? Fine. I think it might be. Uh, Within our avenue of interest, if we were to learn how to build the Dauntless, because what would a uh, little mod spotlight be without being able to show off? We'll grab that as well, because I think that's the last ship on the list that we can't currently build. Weigh anchor and hoist the mizzen. Captain ship carrying up drug droid. Hop to it. Dreadnought approaching phase jump coordinates. Ahoy, planetary development complete. Gimme, gimme, gimme a dreadnought after midnight. Right, there we go. We've got all the uh, the different vessel types that we need. I think perhaps in this gravity well, we should probably build try and build a Titan Yard. What are you, Titan Foundry? And you're a hellhole cannon. Ahoy there, our research has progressed. Grab one of those. Grab the Titan Foundry. <laughs> Capital ship carrying oh, drunk droid. <laughs> it does sound a bit like that. Damn those drunk droids. They're, 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 they're real problems. They're living in the past. This, this is not a laughing matter. Drunk droids are a problem. But that Pathfinder's thinking, what have I just run into? Liking this music, this isn't part of the stock game. Ahoy, Hopefully you guys can hear that music, I'm not sure if you can. But... Let's see what else we've got. Ahoy, the construction of Orbis and Module is complete. What kind of resources do we need for a Titan? A bit. Um, can we get more logistics at this point? God, no. 70, 75, 80, 85. And then we'll grab that and that should be 
what we need. It's mostly supply that we're running short on, and that will this will rectify. Just want to make sure I can get an additional dreadnought. I'm not even going to bother taking this world. I just I want to kill the enemy. I'm not just any Cardassian. Hey, Robbo. Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's bring that down to the 1200 required. Realize that that makes very little difference, being that we haven't taken this. Right, what are we lacking? Everything. Primarily, it looks like the issue is going to be um, the crystal. Oh, it's nearly there. Ahoy there. Our research has progressed. Ahoy there. Our research has progressed. If it says ahoy there one more time. It looks like we've, because we've destroyed a couple of ships, our crystal count has gone up fairly significantly. Let's bring that down to one, two. Okay, grab a bit of that. This isn't based on Homeworld, Robo. No, this is uh, the race that I'm playing is definitely based on a Homeworld race. Uh, however, okay. overall, it's not no. <laughs> But we'll hopefully we'll be attacking another race in the next few minutes when my ships finally get there. Oh, it says dreadnought phase engines engaged, but uh, are we going to get a dreadnought? Yes. Efficient strategy. Go here. I'll give the orders. Yeah, different races are uh, based on either. What's this? Uh, different IPs or unique IPs, interestingly. Maelstrom's pretty expansive. It does have a lot of races. And we've got our Titan building in here. Which certainly looks pretty extensive. Can't wait to see that. Are you going to get through this any time this century? Come on, guys. The vanguard right at the back of the fleet. Of course it is, because that's what a vanguard does. Come on. <laughs> you are looking at a mod called uh, Maelstrom, Aurelius. Well, actually, quite an enjoyable mod at this point. Victory is forever. What is this maelstrom? It's a total conversion for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. I couldn't place the replicator ships either. I mean, that doesn't mean that they are in unique IP, but... Uh, I I would say that I recognise most... Um, ...sci-fi franchises. Most of them. Uh, Junocast, look after yourself. Uh, don't put a tinfoil hat on, and everything should be okay. Right, let's see. Land lover, more crystal is required. The Arzis, another planet has been taken. Ethereal, no, it doesn't seem to have a particular theme. How does it run compared to other mods? About the same as the larger mods. Uh, how do I compare this to the Eve mod? <laughs> You're asking a lot of questions. How do I compare it to the Eve mod that we did the other day? Um, I find this to be slower. Um, I don't, it's just as good. I mean, the, you know, the research is all there in this. Uh, there's absolutely nothing 
really bad that I can identify about this mod, except for the fact that some of the textures are probably a little bit lacking, because I think they may have been taken directly from the old version of Homeworld 2, not the uh, remastered version. Efficient strategy. A calculated risk. My thoughts exactly. Uh, but I do like a uniform IP. Uh, for example, if I'm playing a Trek mod, I would like it to be indeed a Trek mod. So, that's something that I'm very aware of. What do you do? Oh, you just do loads of damage to my ships, thanks. So, I love that. I'll see you later, Judocast. Uh, Trek Wars, it's... Uh, yeah, I... I've got my own little issues with that. I mean, like, Trek... I'm sorry if you can hear my chair squeaking. I've got a destroyed chair that I'm sitting on. It's a, It's like sitting on a ticking time bomb. What are you? That's interesting. I don't know what it does, but it's interesting. Um... We don't speak of Trek Wars. Um, it's just a breeding ground for an argument, Trek Wars. Uh, there are, depending on the sources that you decide to go to, there are loads of, like, is this ship more powerful? Is this more powerful? Is that more powerful? And it just... I don't know. I, I don't think it's necessarily... That looks big. It's bit, it looks like a jellyfish. Come here, Portuguese man of war. Let's be having you. Development, uh, the one posted on the link to GitHub is significantly newer. Um, the one on ModDB is old. It's it's obsolete now. Ahoy there. Our research has progressed. Let's just see how close we're very, very close to building our Titan. Woohoo! <laughs> now I'm hoping I'll be able to have a decent fight here. I think this might be a unique IP as well. It'll it will probably tell you on the mod DB page, to be honest. Ooh, nice explosion, I like that one. It's no problem, it's no problem. You ask questions away, I mean, that's what streams are for. Uh, the more contact... Wow! That planet is not going to be lasting long. Uh, the more contact and the more uh, the more comments that I get in streams, and indeed on YouTube in general, the happier I am. Uh, that's the whole reason that I bother um, kind of running a channel, I suppose, in any way, shape or form, is because I want to interact. To war. Hello. Ahoy. My my, you're a bit of a fatty, aren't you? Battle is in my blood. Sounds like cake is also in your blood. Uh, let's take slice and dice. Let's take a bit of hunger. And so it shall be. So how much health have you got? Is it eh, not that much? Ahoy. The construction of Argus and Module is complete. As fate decrees. Right, looks like we've taken the world out. We've taken the everything out, in fact. As soon as this reaches, we should be able to colonize. Give me a target. Pain is temporary. Victory is forever. Let's go with Who would stand a couple of random us? abilities. There we are. Woke up to the Pentuzi. <laughs> oh, is that Pentuzi? Is that what it is? Is this a Pentuzi ship? I thought from its coloration it might be uh, Tidan. Just a spiky version of Tidan. Oh, it's almost like a ship from Cataclysm, isn't it? I don't know.
What do you mean, Arxes? Sign from the leading gravity well. That's the, this is the Vega shipyard. Interesting. Oh, it's gone now. It's off. It's doing its own thing. Uh, there's a blue ship. What are you? Well, you look. That looks like a tech ship, to be honest. Oh, it's gone. So it looks like the alliance over here might not be a unique IP. In fact, it might be a, uh, a reimagining and a reuse of the uh, TEC. Let the storm follow in my wake. Ooh, we can go over here to the Ancients planet again. We're just going to let our fleet do its thing. I really like this combat coordinator here. These are the research labs for this particular race, whom are the... I've forgotten what they are. Oh, the replicators. Nice. My purpose is clear. Wow. Wow. Yeah, it looks like planetary sieging is getting a little bit easier. Apparently it is Vega. There we go. Uh, I defer to your superior knowledge on Homeworld. I think uh, I've said quite a few times that I don't really enjoy Homeworld anymore. I used to when I was quite young. I realise I'm not exactly ancient now, but... Uh... <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on here. I think you're going to need a little bit of that, and you're almost certainly going to need one of those. And that should resolve the encroachment did you kill Battle the thing? In my blood. Come on. Trust to the ancients. Instincts. From the window to the ancients. The ship that's like a keyhole is the Bentuzi. Oh, I think I know what you mean. If I go back over here, it's not a ship actually. Uh, this fellow here, it is a Bentuzi ship. This isn't a ship, it's a Titan foundry. But yes, you're quite right. I do, uh, I do remember this because you trade with these guys, don't you? I actually really like that. Lens transport, Pathfinder, nothing, uh, nothing worrying. Efficient strategy. Right, boys, let's they will greet you as realize that we don't have enough of anything. And then continue onwards. I think what I might do is I might just build, say, ten tridents, send them out everywhere, make sure I can work out where the dark blues are. Hey, Khan, how you doing? I got me ground legs yet, Randlubber. I got me ground legs yet, Randlubber. I ain't got me ground legs yet, Randlubber. I ain't got me ground that legs yet, That is infuriating. Randlubber. <laughs> Absolutely infuriating. Come on, ships, let's be off. My destination is absolute. Oh, you just finished playing through Homeworld 1 and 2. There you go. You're the man with the inside knowledge, then. Let's see what this Titan can do. Let the storm fall Looks to me to be anything it wants to do. This is such an amazing uh, planetary... This is my favourite thing... Oh, it's gone. This is my favourite thing about the mod so far. Full stop. This planetary body, I think it's beautiful. I think it's wonderful. I would like to... I wonder if I can actually uh, research that. Damn it! I need one more lab. Excuse me, planet. I think we should probably... Oh, no, not that. Uh, let's just go through our planets. Okay, I just want to see if we can find any artifacts. We've done all these ones, haven't we? Oh, no. I lied. We 
anchor and hoist it as a captain's ship carrying off drug drive. Drug drive and drug off phase engines engaged. You still, uh, you still holding up in combat, sir? Yes, quite admirably, in fact. It's relatively clear that you do not care a jot about your enemies. <laughs> you're there, you're doing what you want to do, you're not concerned. The SpongeBob pirate. Uh, they, they've all got quite bizarre voices, I must admit. Is there anything uh, of note happening here? Nothing at all. Okay, you guys carry on. Carry on murdering your enemies. A bunch of timbers. Interestingly, these guys are the trade ships, uh, but they do they are able to shoot things. Unusual. Peace is the greatest lie of all. What's that? Planetary embargo? Yeah, why not? An enemy planet has been plundered and destroyed. Oh, good. <laughs> EO, planetary investigations failed to find anything. I feel like they're just saying, like, Yar and Evo, just, just for the sake of doing it. It's like, it's like they don't believe in it themselves. Uh, Evo? <laughs> Ahoy there, Captain. Let's go to their home world. Ahoy. Can I tell you these guys what to do? No, I can't. Can I? Evo, planetary investigations failed to find anything. Evo, so what are tridents? Oh, you're, uh, oh, okay. They're the searchy, searchy ships. I'm just a fool that knows nothing. It looks like the, um... Super cool. Um, it, it looks like the um, the cap ship seems to have done done its work. The Citadel from Mass Effect. Possibly. Um, I mean, there's a number of things that it could be. It's almost like a uh, partially completed sphere world. Uh, Oh, there was a game called, like, Pax Imperia uh, back in the day. Um, I don't know if anybody remembers Pax Imperia, but it had planetoids that were very similar to this that you could construct. Or Space Empires 4. It was either Pax Imperia or Space Empires 4. Uh, one of those games, you could construct a world that looked a little bit like this, and it may have taken inspiration from that. But I might be wrong on all counts, and it could be from something else. If anybody actually knows, tell us. Oh, there's a saviour thing here. Yeah, these things very much look like. Uh, yeah, they look like the TEC. I keep bringing up old games and making you feel old. Well, you're not alone there, and I think um, I don't know. I, I think there's a lot to be said for remembering. These things are just mental. Uh, there's a lot to be said for remembering old games because it, it, it's um, it reminds us of a number of things. It reminds us how far we've come uh, while watching the gaming industry or while being uh, while enjoying the gaming industry. Perhaps I should say um, it reminds us of some of the mistakes that we've made, or the mistakes that we've taken part in, at least. Since we're all talking about old games, why don't we um, have a think about uh, the old games that we really enjoyed, kind of games that aren't about anymore or we can't play anymore. Ooh. Oh no, some of these are unique. That is not something that is in stock. Uh, let's have a look at this fellow here. That's not in stock. I mean, they've got a lot of similarities to the TEC. 
but they genuinely do. Uh, let's take a look at their buildings. No, this is this is all unique. This is a unique IP. Dune. Oh yes. I don't suppose anybody, um, and you may or may not, depending on whether you're a real um, strategy games kind of guy, Peace. but do you guys Peace remember the, the original KKND, Crush, Kill and Destroy? Uh, I often go back to the, the briefings, or think about the briefings that you had uh, before the missions in KKND, and that really got me into that game. You could either play as the survivalists, which were um, humans that had been underground for 60 years after a, a devastating nuclear war, or you could be the muties. And these uh, these muties, um, their briefings prior to a mission were some of the funniest things in the world because it was just this guy who was just absolutely... Um, like he, he was quite mutated and obviously just utterly mental. And he was telling you what you've got to do. And it was so good. It was so good. Honor will not... It was your first game, KKND. Oh, dude. Doom was your first game or KKND. Um, Asterings. Either is a very good choice. <laughs> Mars Frigate? Let's take a look at that. Oh, we've seen one of those. So these are very much humans, but these are a different set of humans. Ah. These are pretty damn cool. Oh, let's go. Oh, well, that looks familiar, doesn't it? It's like the um, Echinopolis from. It's like Coruscant, effectively. Mario sixty four on the DS Lite. When I were a lad, there weren't no DSs. <laughs> Our instincts are razor sharp. <laughs> yeah, we we um I had the original um Game Boy. Uh I had I had one of these colourless versions so you could see the inner workings and it was just this huge motherboard that just took up the entire centre of the thing in a battery pack that was the size of my head. Uh so good. Have we uh we defeated these guys. Yeah, they're gone. They're gone. Let the storm follow in my wake. Let's get to their cap world. If you insist, my destination is absolute. A calculated risk. Oh, you had a Commodore. Um, nice, nice. Uh, I don't think I ever owned a Commodore. I had an Atari. I can't remember which Atari. I know there were several. It was one of the... It wasn't the very first Atari. Uh, uh, and then I think my first really kind of like... My, ma my first major gaming device was uh, a Sega Mega Drive. Which I was so proud of. All my friends had um, Nintendos or I think... It was bordering on the Super Nintendo time, so um, they either had they either had the NES or the SNES at that point, uh, and they were all playing Mario, and I thought I was just the coolest kid around because I was rocking Sonic, and Sonic compared to Mario is an absolute baller. Uh, <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Is Sonic or Mario cooler? Teletubbies on PC. I didn't even know there was a Teletubbies game. But then again, it's a generational thing, isn't it? I don't think Teletubbies were around when I was young enough uh, to appreciate them. You went, for, uh, oh, the Genesis. Mm. What was the um, the failed Sega? 
device or the failed Sega console that came uh, at the same time as the PlayStation. Was it the Sega Saturn? I think it was the Sega Saturn. I, I didn't get one of those. I really wanted one, but I didn't get one in the end because I got a... Uh, I think I got a Dreamcast. And I also had a PlayStation eventually. It was the Saturn. There we go. Since we're talking about uh, being young, being kids, uh, like the first things that we really got into, what, uh, I mean, this this is going to show a, a generational difference, almost certainly. Uh, what cartoons were you guys into as kids? What did you go for? Like, uh, I, I have a couple of favourite cartoons, and I'm going to wait until I've seen a couple of yours. You wish you'd ever bought a PlayStation? Oh, I did buy one, ultimately, and I enjoyed it, so I, I can't really complain about that purchase. Yeah, so your favourite child uh, child cartoon. Thunderbirds, they were cool, man. Um, I thought that um, Captain Scarlet was a bit cooler. I didn't like Stingray very much, because uh, I don't like deep water. <laughs> um, but I did like Scarlet. Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Uh, I think Mask is a, it came a little bit after my uh, my cartoon watching days. He Man, I definitely remember. Uh, Transformers, I never really watched as a kid. I think it must have been out. It must have been. It would be it would be weird if it wasn't. Strength and wisdom guide me. Pokemon and Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack again, after my time. I'm not doing very well on doing any of the researching that I'm supposed to have done. You get to a point where you don't care about research anymore, don't you? There we are. Thundercats. Does anybody remember SWAT Cats? It was just the, uh, this pair of cats who happened to be mechanics, um, but they'd got a fight, fighter jet. And I don't know why they had a fighter jet, but they had this awesome, funky fighter jet, and they ended up every week somehow facing off against a giant robot. Efficient strategy. I'm stealing all the income from this planet, that's nice. Ahoy there, our research has progressed. By the power of Grayskull! Yep. <laughs> now, my favourite cartoons when I was a kid... Um, I did like SWAT Cats, that's something I very much enjoyed. Possibly because of the fighter jet fighting giant robots. Um, I liked Botsmaster, uh, that's with a Z because it was the 90s. Uh, B-O-T-Z Master. Uh, you should, like, if you, if you are on YouTube right now, you should absolutely take a look at the Botsmaster intro. It's a, it's a work of madness. Um, uh, what Botsmaster was about, it was about a kid, again with the Zeds because it was the early 90s, called Zidzulander, ZZ for short, uh, <laughs> who was um, some kind of like super duper rich technological genius who'd made, uh, uh, made a bunch of sentient robots for sport, uh, but there was a big evil corporation that was... Uh, I don't, I don't really know what the big evil corporation was trying to achieve, but it was certainly trying to achieve something, and that was bad. Uh, so he used these sports bots, and... Um, <laughs> oh, you should really watch it, Judocast. Uh, and one bot that he created after, um, after starting his war against the corporation called... And you're going to absolutely love this. It was a ninja bot, and it was called, uh, again... Early 90s, lots of Zs. It was called Ninjas. And yes, Jizz was spelt J I double Z. If you are British, you will understand what I'm talking about. Didn't understand that at the, at the time, but now it makes me cringe. <laughs> I 
Yep, you ever get the opportunity, watch a bit of Botsmaster. It'll, you'll laugh, you'll cry, it'll change your life. Um, in addition to that, I used to like uh, Bucky O'Hare, which you may or may not have come across as well. I always liked the weirdest cartoons, and Bucky O'Hare was... Here comes ninjas to save us. <laughs> it's so, so ridiculous. Hey, Fiddy Cal. Yes, um, Bucky O'Hare was about a another dimension that a little kid, uh, I, can't, I, can't, I think he was called Wolowitz or something, um, managed to get into uh, by creating a device which was a... A time pension where animals effectively walked upright and, you know, that they could do everything that humans can do. And uh, you ha there was a some kind of war between amphibians and mammals. So, like, there were the toads and frogs who, who were locked in this eternal war against mammals. And birds, in fact. Uh, and Bucky O'Hare was a, a starship captain. Uh, of ill repute, I think. <laughs> Again, Bucky O'Hare, you can find the intro to that, and it's just absolutely fantastic. There's a, the, the guy who fired the cannons on the ship was called Deadeye Duck, and he had six arms. So good. Efficient strategy. No, these are all American shows. These are definitely all American shows, not British at all. Actually, yes, uh, Botsmaster might well have been Japanese. It's certainly got a very Japanese influence. Ooh, naughty men. That's a cool ship. Let's destroy it. If you insist. So what are you? Are you one of the Dreadnoughts? Yes, yes, the Lancelot. Lancelot? Oh, it's got lances and it'll soon be dead. Is that a second uh, Lancelot? It is. Oh, we've caned these guys. I think we're still in the process of destroying this world. I think we've pretty much won this, ladies and gentlemen. It was only on normal difficulty, though, so it's hardly surprising. But guys, so give me your thoughts on this mod. Like, overall, visually, and uh, with the different types of fleets, etc. What do you think? Do you think this looks like something that you want to have a go at in the future? Yeah, it was a little bit too easy, but as, as a mod spotlight, I'm never interested in uh, it being too difficult. This isn't a let's play. Um, if it was a let's play, I'd probably put it on hard. I'd be talking a little bit less, but uh, the whole point of doing a stream is to interact with you guys as much as possible. So I'm keeping one eye on the chat all the time. Well, I'm glad to hear you're interested in that in, in the mod. Uh, if you do, um, if you do decide to comment on their ModDB page, which, uh, as I say, I will link it in the description of the VOD for this. Um, I'm sure you'll be able to find it though. Just type in Maelstrom Mod uh, for Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion in Google, and you'll find it. Um, yeah, if you do decide to give this mod a try and you enjoy it and you like what you see, let them let them know that GB Gaming sent you uh, by commenting. Always a nice thing to do, and it. Uh, um, I'm sure. Mod developers that see that they'll be they'll be more interested in uh, perhaps doing interviews in the future, allowing me to do more modders on modding, which I think is a, a really good thing to do. Yeah, the Vega and Hygar, in fact, the Tidan and uh, <laughs> any of them uh, teaming up with each other doesn't necessarily seem right, but this is I think it's an effort to make its own IP. Um, to be fair, I think this is the only IP that has been uh, borrowed. <laughs> Ahoy there. Our research has progressed. 
strength and wisdom guide me. That planet and should go down. Yep. This isn't a home world mod, as I say, Fidical. Um, like you should see from. Let's just take a look at these buildings here. This none of this is home world esque. Um, the this is a group called the Alliance, a group or a race called the Alliance. Uh, there are other races as well. Um, this is the Alliance that we're fighting now. These guys are called the Norlamans, who have unique ship designs. And then we also have the Replicators, who also appear to have sh uh, unique ship designs. These are the rogues or the pirates or whatever you want to call them, and they have borrowed ships from Homeworld. What's going on over here? Excuse me? It's just not okay. Ahoy! What are you? No, oh, you're just tridents. You're no good to me. Uh, let's get a few more caps, shall we? Let's grab one of these, one of, oh, not one of those. One of those, one of these, one of these, one of those. One of these, one of those. Good enough. All right, once those are built, we can send them over here. And that'll be the end of our enemies. Battle is in my blood. Oh, this is a Razor class star base here. Yeah, the tech tree is pretty good, pretty fairly comprehensive. Let's take a look at it. So you've got all the ships here, um, lots of little additional bits. You can see that some of the bits of it have been reused, if you will. Some of the visuals you can see these are from the stock game, uh, but they're all repositioned. Uh, they've all got their own unique flair, and you can see what everything does. Uh, I think most of the strings are done in a unique way as well. Uh, there's a couple of things that I didn't. Uh, use in this. I didn't use a hellhole cannon. Uh, and I haven't produced a star base either, or a repair platform. But uh, by and large, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with the tech tree, I'm pretty happy with everything. Um, Astrinx was just uh, talking about the Titan Yard, which I'll go and find for you. Here it is, yep. <laughs> we are filled with might, raw power. Let the storm fall. More points that we can spend, bit of that, bit of that. More bombers, please. Our cap ships are just gaining levels. Ridiculously. Well, I'm confident that we've won that now, so I'm just going to go into uh, scene two. And are there any final questions before we um, before we end the stream? <laughs> 1980s and 1990s cartoons and games. Uh, I, I really enjoyed that. Uh, you, you got me on a bit of a roll, so I apologise if I just didn't shut up, but there we are. That is sometimes the way of things. Alright guys, that's going to be me. Good night all.